Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome to Koala Lumper Journey to the Edge. So this, um, this is a very interesting game. Oh god, it's already trippy. This is a very interesting game from my childhood that I've been very excited to get around to playing on the channel, and finally it's time. I gotta turn that down a bit, though. Hey. Oh god, I remember this shit. Oh yeah, I remember the graphics shift between like these three styles. Okay, so he's... I think he can travel through space and time. It's been forever though. Good god, man. I wonder where this came from. I don't know. And now it's gonna be like the super hyper realistic. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he randomly found a scroll. So I'm gonna get into what this game is shortly, but we gotta like get through this cutscene. Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta actually turn it off now. His voice is so quiet. There we go. Oh, I, do, I remember this from when I was a kid, man. I remember this. This game had a crazy premise, as you're about to see. So he's got like this god scroll. Their subscription to Better Homes and Gardens. He also likes to make jokes that are not very funny. There we go. I wouldn't open that. I wouldn't open that if I was him. Thank you, but uh, no. Yeah, I agree. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, let me out. I've got, got things to do. Well, oh God! To you can actually see like a an explosive cloud and stuff in there. <laughs> I think he's gonna pass, and then... Greetings, it is I, Elemental, supreme being of the universe. Elemental? And your divine inspiration. Saints and sages, my meditations have been answered. Oh, divine vine mother, I bow humbly to you. There's simply no time. The universe is in peril, most grave and vile. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it wasn't the eel Vindaloo. Your what? conjuring of these astral portals has violated the very fabric of time and space. You have risked the release of the most powerful force of evil in all the universe. My opposite in every way, Macho de Nada. You are referring to the ranting fellow with the, with the delusions of grandeur? What exactly is being his dilemma? By summoning our portals to your dimension, you have initiated the first oh. sign of the Kay. apocalypse. If Macho Donada is released... Macho Donada, that's the name of the bad guy, I remember that. Okay, so I gotta find the scrolls. The, the one you screwed around with manifests the trans-temporal portal. Okay. The second parchment returns them to their right... Uh, okay, yeah, I vaguely remember this. Oh, thank Guruji. This is most easily facilitated. <laughs> Just tell me where the lost scroll scroll is, and I'll go get it. I noticed that the audio is skipping a little bit. It's because it's such an old game. We'll get into it. Yeah, the scroll got broken. Mm-hmm. You must find all of the pieces, Koala, or kiss your chakras goodbye. It is also said that the scrolls are an ancient gateway to total enlightenment. I am hearing you say total enlightenment? So that's why he does it, yeah. That would, that would make my guru training much easier. Very well. You are hereby charged with finding the lost scroll. Mm -hmm. But you must hurry, Koala. I cannot prevent the opening of the second door. Only you can save us from Macho's most heinous villainy. 
There it is, Kuala Lumpur Journey to the Edge. And then I guess it's got a weird opening cutscene. Like opening credits? Okay, well while this plays, that's fine. I'm sure I'm not gonna get copyrighted on this song that's 30 years old. Um, so if you guys, thank you for bearing with me through that, by the way, that was probably a little bit longer than I would usually let it run. If you know me and you know the channel, you know that I am nostalgic for three systems. That would be the N64, of which I play a lot of N64 games on the channel, the PS2, which I haven't really played a lot but I'm getting into, and then old PC games. In terms of old PC games, there's four that really stick out in my head as games that I really loved when I was younger and that I played the crap out of. There's Diablo 2, Dungeon Keeper 2, which I recently finished on the channel, Civilization 3, which I would love to show on the channel, and then this one, Koala Lumper Journey to the Edge, which is a pun on the name of the place Koala Lumper. Okay. We gotta find that guy. Dingo, it is me. We've been hired to locate the lost lost scroll. Oh, we've been hired immediately we? If we can find all the missing pieces, the lost scroll promises to bestow total spiritual enlightenment. Is that not the most exciting God, it's weird when it shifts from zoomed out to like detailed. I lift my leg on enlightenment. Oh, okay. I'd just give Shermo a jingle. He is most entranced by forces of evil. Forces of okay. evil? Yeah, so, so repetitive one. I must prevent the most powerful evildoer of all time from causing the comedy apocalypse. An apocalypse? Oh, it's the comedy apocalypse. I didn't pick up on that as a kid. Pick me up in the TTRV and make it snappy! Praise Mandala! I knew I could count on Dingo. Okay. I'm needing all the assistance my karma will permit. I shall conjure up a mystical spirit guide familiar. Shakalulu Rama Rama Boo! Oh yeah, the fly! I am receiving a lousy insect! So he summoned a fly, which I think is your cursor. Providence in this familiar. Shanti, Shanti, welcome and a thousand, thousand blessings to you, my winged buzzing thing. I think I get to control it soon. This means you are to assist me in any way possible. Mm -hmm. You must help me for the remainder of this quest. After that, you are free to go. There we go. Yeah, I'm the fly. Official Dalai Lama incense holder. So he wants me to pick that up. Most excellent. You may also request me to carry item. Just set the object on my magic fez and voila! It is being stored. Jesus, okay, I'm having... Oh, shut up! You may also request me to carry item. Put the item on your magic fez, there. My magic fez and voila! It is being stored. Is that not... It is for you to try this. There, on your magic fez. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to hold it over there. That was weird. True genius. If you require a stored item, simply tap Fizzle. You try it. Select oh yeah, I remember this. You wish to retrieve. There we go. Accomplished on flying one. Now so I'd really like to talk about this game, but there is so much text right now and dialogue. We have finally arrived at Dingo's hideout. God damn, this is trippy too. Can you imagine that being like a screensaver on your computer? Okay, I think we're almost ready to actually play this game. This yes. Where my intrepid friend howls at the moon. Dingo! Hmm. Most so we're looking for Dingo, his best friend. You poke around out here. Okay. Now I actually have full control. Okay, so what I was saying is that there's three consoles I'm very nostalgic for. Old PC is one of them, and there were like four games that I used to love to play the crap out of when I was a kid or like a young teen. This was one of them, but unlike most games that you will see on this channel, I could never beat this one as a kid. So I guess in a lot of ways this is going to be like almost a redemption story. 
Um. Okay. And this is a point-and-click adventure game. Much like a Sierra game or something along those lines. But this one is incredibly unique, as you might have already noticed. I forgot that you played a fly. Okay, so I gotta... Do I have to get it working? I don't know if I have to do any of this. I think I just gotta find Dingo right now. Jesus. And so I'm playing this on a modern computer. It's been designed to be able to run on this modern computer, but by playing it on this modern computer, there are a lot of glitches like the sound right now. Okay, so there's books. Um, oh, I found a key. Ooh, um, what does the key go to? Uh, is it maybe the store? Oh, he was taking a shit. Oh, okay. You are becoming most effective. I do not wish to visit the inside. So I gotta find something to unlock with the key. What do I unlock with the key? Can I? Yeah, store it for me for now. Yeah. Okay, so we just gotta kind of like click around and explore everything, but. Thing is, this game, I could never beat it as a kid, because it was so fucking hard and impossible to figure out what you're actually supposed to do. Oh! Crumb Baba. Not even a crumb. Okay, give me. Mm -hmm. Give me back my key. Yeah. Give me the key. And then I use the key on this. Don't I? Okay, so apparently he's in the fridge. This is Dingo. We'll have you out faster than a water buffalo passing a sesame seed. Okay. You got a barmy? You're talking to a flying gertie eater. You're hanging out with some real bottom feeders. This point you make is well taken. Seeing as you have acquired a filing cabinet around your person. Yeah, well it's your fault I'm even in here. I shudder to ask. Oh god, the audio has desynced. That's how it is. That's not even me. The computer in the lab should help. Of course. With Dingo, the solution is always being technology. Okay, maybe it resynced itself. As the great yeah, it looks like it did. Okay, guys, so because I'm playing this on a modern computer, there's lots of things that might go wrong. I'm just hoping we'll be able to get through to the end. Um. So he's saying the computer in the lab. What is that? Um, okay, so, what, I guess I used, I used the, no, the key's still there. I guess that's just not where I used the key. I think that's what it's trying to say. How do we get to the lab, old sponge? Elevator, in the shed. You need my car key. It's, uh, uh, okay, so the key is to an elevator in the shed. All right. So I think I gotta unlock it. Did that work? Oh, it worked! Okay, well, this game's a little janky. Elevator. How could I have forgotten? This could provide us protein results. Yeah, bring us down. Is a very strange so, yeah guys, this is a game that I played as a kid. It wasn't an amazing game, but it's one of the games that always stuck with me. Will you shut the fuck up, Koala? Okay! So this is one of the games that always stuck with me because it had a lot of personality. I am cranking faster than a gerbil on a treadmill. It had a lot of personality, this game, even though I don't think the jokes were funny. I didn't even think it was funny back then. But the... This is most futile. Okay. Are we going yet? Okay, there we are. I had to actually press. I just assumed it was working. Um, this game has a lot of personality, and it's super tough. Like, I could never figure out what to do when I was a kid. Which is why I really wanted to play it again and maybe figure out what I'm supposed to do? What is this? What is this? What, what, what is that? Oh, okay. Okay, and because this is a point-and-click game much like a Sierra game... 
You want to keep everything you find. If you can take it, you want it. Because it's going to have a use at some point in the game. And I think maybe that's one of the things that I was never able to do, was just get everything that you need? I don't know. Oh, okay. It's a match three. Oh, I remember this fucking computer. Oh god, is... Is this right? <laughs> it looks like it goes with her top, but doesn't go with the bottom. Well, ma'am, does this look like the man who hijacked your llama? Okay. Lovey, I'm afraid we don't have a proper connection. What does this do? Bunny on the outside, dementia on the inside. Okay, I think maybe I just gotta make Dingo. I am certain I have seen this okay. in the post office. I think. He is on Lovey, I'm afraid we don't what? have a proper connection. You don't have a proper connection? What? What is it, this? What? Okay, this is a thing that I gotta do. Is that it? God damn, man. This game is already hard. Okay, so I'm tempted to look up a guide, but I think from memory. Your data is trotting over there right now. I'm a smart cookie. Okay. So I'm probably I'm gonna have to use a guide at some point in this game just because I'm not gonna know what to do when I get to the parts where I was stuck on as a kid But we're gonna try and beat this first part in this first episode at least Okay What is this screen? Um The computer is an excellent idea But first let's surf the net I don't know the password where do I find the pass- it's- password is probably up in his lab. Maybe now that I have done the thing, I can... Yeah, come on, come on. Whoa! We have obviously activated the power. Now we must determine how to best act responsibly. Um, what is this? So what do you want to shoot at? I'm not a mind reader. Um... Okay, I activated a missile system. Okay, so where, was that where my data was traveling or was it to this one here? What, what? Loading pad code. Checking. Oh, it's the other computer, okay. This is gonna be a tough game, man. Oh, I can take the books with me if I want to, that's weird. What is what is this? Daily affirmations? Whoa! No, no. I want to read it. What, what's what's in it? Oh God! I I hit a light. What? And, okay, I'm not dead at least. I'm just trying to put the book. No, I didn't want you to take the book. I wanted to put it back. Put back the book. Um. Oh, look in the corner there. There's there's letters. P. M. M. Z. Blank. Oh, there's letters on both sides. Pimenez? Something about that feels right, hearing that word. Oh, there's a TV. Okay, I'm gonna go try and put that password in. So this is gonna be a weird game for me to let's play. It, I forgot some of the elements of it, like the point and click stuff, like... I forgot how point and clicky it was. And this is a hard game to figure out, man. Like, people like to bring up Sierra games as the point and click adventures of the 90s. For me, it was this game. This game is cool and it really sticks in your memory, but goddamn, this is not an easy game. Like, I'm already starting to get held up a little bit here. Okay, I think I gotta put in Pimenez into this computer, which is gonna do something. What? That's not, uh, I'm gonna look up a guide. Okay, so apparently Pimenez is a password for something. But this needs the password Steamer, which is a reference to the fact that Koala took a giant dump. Maybe there was more info on that? Okay. 
DOS? Yeah, we're in DOS, okay. The data dump button is used to send information to another terminal. Okay. Lovey, I'm afraid we don't have a proper connection. What am I doing? Oh, okay. So I think this is the one for Pimenez. Maybe? Okay. Lovey, no, I'm actually, I think it's... Don't have a proper connection. Oh, and then there was an infinity symbol. Is this not right? Oh, ban Banamas. Banamas. Bananas is bananas. Okay. What do I do with that? What do I do with that information? Oh, it's probably bananas and I just fucked up a letter. What do I do with this information? Okay, there, I got to say actual bananas. You don't have a proper connection. Proper connection to what? I don't, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. So I did something. I've just been fucking around with stuff for a while, doing as best I can for memory. I'm trying not to use a guide. I think I armed the bomb. I think I armed the bomb. Oh, yeah. Shoot him. Oh. Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Yes. I'm supposed to remind you that you've only got the one missile. You still want to go for it? Yes. Okay, if you insist, press yes, they're toast. If you think some namby-pamby diplomacy might work, press no. I'm gonna go with yes. Okay, so we're shooting a missile to try and get him out. This, I don't think this is the way that I did it as a kid, or maybe there's multiple ways to do it? Okay, did I free him? Please tell me I freed him, because I was making no progress with doing it the way without blowing him up. An object of such size, traveling at such a velocity, could be exceedingly painful. Lingerie. There he is! Why, of course. <laughs> I never expected one of Dingo's contraptions to actually work. You won't get me a bandicoot! Okay, I've definitely done this way before. I think there's two ways to free him. Oh yeah, I heard his brain. Dingo has an outstanding mind, but it takes okay, so I gotta warm up put his marbles into his brain. I remember this. Right, as rain. right now I'm looking inside his head, which is kind of gross. There we go. Three hours, three! Counter Matilla! I swear I'm gonna boot your disc so dang hard! Great hairy crackers! I'm so hungry I can suck the crust off a warthog's bum! Shanty, shanty, my friend! How I oh god, that's so disturbing, these up close pictures! It's been an ages! Please god damn, me. man! I'm not leaving immediately. <gasps> I left the TTRV running. Hold on to your petri dish. I know that scroll piece is in Okay, somewhere. so now I think we finally got this adventure on the road. In the next episode, which will be probably next week, I'll kind of get into what this game is why I really wanted to play it, and some of the backstory and the plot and everything. This was probably a weird episode, I acknowledge that. That's why this is going up on a Sunday. It's a weird game, but it's from my childhood, and I, I knew I had to play it again. I think I can save. Yes. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to Dungeon Keeper 2. So in this episode, we're going to take on the final level of the entire game. The game? But as it turns out, this game is actually a little bit of a long haul, like, kind of takes some doing to get to what could be considered the end of the game, even though...